I was exhausted, and yet I had never been more awake. I hadn't slept in two days. All I did was think. At nights, my mind raced, and during the day, all I did was ask myself that question over and over again, but no answer ever came. For months, all I did was ponder that prompt. It was a prompt I had always dreaded receiving. It misled you with its simple wording and dragged you down when it made you realize that you really didn't know yourself as well as you once thought. But on that day, I pondered the prompt more seriously than ever. Tell us about yourself. I didn't want to admit it, but I had been working on that same college admissions essay topic for three weeks, four days, and going on five hours. Until this day, I hid from even myself the fact that despite the looming deadline, I hadn't written one single word. My parents' nagging became increasingly frequent. I tried to mollify them, saying I had the most monumental essay written out in my head. All I had to do was put it on paper, send it to the colleges, and the acceptance letters would be rolling in. They believed that about as much as I did. The plain and simple truth was, I was out of ideas. And this is an unfamiliar feeling to me. I'm a writer. I don't run out of ideas. But this time, I couldn't even throw together an essay about myself. So I did what I always did before I started writing something. I began looking for the perfect opening sentence. Every writer knows that starting is the hardest part. But my thoughts were too muddled from lack of sleep. Despite this, I walked towards the open and neglected notebook that was on my desk. I picked up the pen that sat alongside it and considered the ease with which I had written possibly hundreds of essays in the past and briefly wondered why this one was so much more difficult. But then, in a sudden moment of clarity, I wrote down something profound. I was sure it was profound. I had started the essay. What I wrote was one word, in fact, just a single letter. I. OK, not a full sentence, but a fantastic start. What better way to start an essay about me than with the word I? I took a well-deserved break. Time spent thinking about what I would do if I honestly could not finish the essay on time. Did I really need to go to college that badly after all? <laughs> But I banished these negative thoughts from my head and went back to work. I returned to the notebook with no new inspiration. As a writer, albeit struggling, I knew the best thing to do was to pick up the pen and let the ideas come to me. And they did. I wrote down a second word, this time two letters, am. I am. OK, this was nearly a complete sentence. I am something. This was good. I took another break. I played with my stress ball. I pet my cat. I lit a candle, and I went back to work. My vision was blurry. Even with my glasses, I could barely see the two words scrawled on the paper before me. Nevertheless, I knew they were there, so I picked up the pen again. My, pen, my hand began writing, almost without my permission. Another short word, I could tell it was a short word. A. That's what I wrote. I am a. OK. Who am I? I am a person. I am a girl. But none of that felt quite right. And then it hit me. Why writing this essay was so much harder than any other essay I had ever written before. I had never really asked myself that question, who am I? I mean, I kind of did, but I never truly dug deep and asked. I was making writing this whole essay so much harder than it needed to be. I knew the perfect opening sentence all along. This essay was about me, and I know who I am, so I just wrote it down. I am a writer.